One thing that surprised me about Diana when I was preparing for the role was just the level of vulnerability that she had to endure being 19, being faced with this huge family and dynasty and pressure to become a certain person and then how alone she was in figuring out how to achieve the goal of, of, of becoming the people's princess. You know, everybody knows so much about Prince Charles already, but one of the most interesting things I found out about him is that he actually has a really wonderful sense of humor. He has sort of a, a, a goofy uh, sense of humor to him. He loves things like Monty Python and the goons from back in the 70s in England. And uh, what he describes as sort of the most groan-inducing jokes are his favorites. So that was a really cool thing to learn about him. What is one surprising thing I have learned about Queen Elizabeth? I was surprised to learn that she didn't like going to the theater. She'd rather be outside, playing with the dogs and riding horses. What a surprise, she's an outdoor girl. Well, I have been a lifelong obsessive fan of Diana. Um, and um, it's, it's an incredible story um, of a person who was under the brightest spotlight and the most pressure you can imagine and managed to find her voice and her strength. So coming up with movement for these characters has been really interesting. I mean, the music and the lyrics are telling such a beautiful story. So if I just pay attention and hang in there, I can find stuff, but I, I feel like Diana was original, and so I want the, the movement to feel fresh and maybe be things that you've never really seen before, or maybe a little more abstract so it's not so on the nose. What, what the assignment was is to make sure that each of these looks still looks as beautiful to the viewer as it did when we first saw them. I know there's a lot of speculation uh, about how you could put this story on stage. And I think they've done a really good job, actually, of it. And they've taken a lot of care to um, treat everybody involved with um, care and respect. And I think that we've really approached these characters in the story with care and respect. And it's such a fascinating story. Like, you can't make this up. If I told you the story happened, you probably wouldn't believe me. But it did, and we all know it did. So. It's, it's an amazing story, and uh, the music's good, and uh, I think the actors are good, so that's why you should go see it. What I wanted to do with each, uh, when we started working on this, I said, okay, let's, I wanted to give each character their own voice, and then try to get them songs to live on top of each other and go through each other. So it was, uh, meant, it, it sounded great on paper, and then, uh, and easier on paper, and then uh, we, the challenge was doing it. Uh, I think what inspired us to explore Diana and make the, uh, the life of Princess Diana Broe a musical was just that she had this amazing sense of empathy. She really cared about other people and she really wanted to make the world a better place. Uh, and she had this aspirations to do that, but then she was suddenly in this terrible marriage and she had a fight to be heard and fight to get out of it. So all those elements of the story, we just thought, what a great idea for a Broadway musical. The three adjectives I would pick to describe Diana the musical would be epic, would be honest, and would be fun. <laughs> celebratory, uh, I would say passionate, and I would say human. Rousing, funny, movie. A good time.